There may not be a complete and all-encompassing explanation for the evil that exists in the world in light of a mighty, good God. But this does not change that there is a God, and He is good. When man mankind is faced with pain and suffering for what seems to be no reason, it is hard to imagine a great, powerful God who is the definition of love. Acts of terrorism that devastate so many lives, diseases that affect both the innocent and the guilty, cancer that strikes and kills with an often long, drawn-out process. There can never be an explanation that fully explains these tragedies. Trying to explain away suffering and pain may not actually do any good, but accepting that there is a God who loves in spite of the pain in this world, this can change a person's life forever. J.P. Moreland points out, pointed out that God does not, cannot, does not make a circle into a square but it does not negate his power. Although there is evil in this world, God is still all-powerful. There is so much in the world that cannot be explained apart from a mighty, powerful creator. The cosmological argument. There is a great, vast universe that came from nothing. It had to have come from someone. The fact that there is life on this earth and the fact that all of these details had to be in place. As the book Evidence for God points out, this could not have happened without a great and powerful creator. The fact that we understand the concept of right and wrong from the day we're born, this is something that had to have been given to us from a God who is righteous and good. And yet, there is still evil in this world. Can we truly accept that God is good in spite of the evil? Many would argue that suffering is often for a purpose. A lot of Christians can attest to the fact that the suffering in their life, the pain that they've gone through, have drawn them closer to their Creator and to understanding their purpose in this life. And there was a, a purpose and a plan, even through the suffering. But what about when someone dies unexpectedly for no reason and it serves no purpose. No one grows, no one gains anything, they're gone. How do we explain this? As I said before, there is no explanation that fully encompasses why. But God is still good in spite of death. My personal testimony is that two grandmothers of mine were great and mighty and wonderful women of God who both died of cancer. And I can tell you till the moment they died, they look forward to eternity. They were not afraid of death. They looked forward to spending time with God. And they shared that with me through their pain, through their suffering, that there was nothing on this earth worth losing your salvation for. And I believe that in spite of their pain, there is a good and mighty and great God.